how they plead poverty, that they're losing money left and right when giving hundreds of millions of dollars to their CEOs. It is disgusting. Shame on them. They stand on the wrong side of history at this very moment because at some point the jig is up. You cannot keep being dwindled and marginalized and disrespected and dishonored. The entire business model has been changed by streaming, digital, AI. This is a moment of history that is a moment of truth. If we don't stand tall right now, we are all going to be in trouble. We are all going to be in jeopardy of being replaced by machines. That is uh, Fran Drescher, obviously a leader of uh, the now striking uh, actors, 160,000 actors joining the already ongoing WGA strike. This is a historic thing. We're gonna be breaking down all the facts, but I really liked what Fran Drescher had to say there. Uh, Fran Drescher has received a lot of public uh, criticism from those she represents in the union uh, for tactics and strategy communication, but also some sort of needless own goals like when she was in Italy just a few days ago and was in a photo with Kim Kardashian or something like that. Wasn't considered to be the best move, I guess the best use of her time. Um, I'm not gonna name names, but I know people, I've actually seen some of the like live negotiations behind the scenes and there's a lot of criticism for Fran Drescher. That said, I think her speech, which you only saw a portion of there was quite good, pointing out the frustration that she has with these studios, which obviously the studios have a lot of money. The CEOs, as we'll go over, are making a lot of money. So uh, now that we know that this is going to be writers and actors striking together, you want the leadership to come out swinging. And I think Fran Drescher did a pretty good job there. All of those other criticisms notwithstanding. Brett, what do you think? Yeah, um, I, when it counts, I'd like to say she did the right thing. Um, and it was weird the timing of when she was like hanging out with Kim Kardashian or whatever that was because it was on the eve of what people knew to be a very key moment. And to be honest, if you're an actor, then the entire existence of reality television, which you know really the Kardashians are the apotheosis of, um, that is invented for a lot of the same reasons that streaming is is seized upon by the studios. It is they always looking for cheaper, easier ways to make content where the folks at the top get all the money and they don't have to pay pretty much anyone else. And if they had it their way, that's how it would be. And what's frustrating is they pretend that like, oh my God, my hands are tied here. You got Bob Iger, you got people at very high levels of these studios saying it's really difficult for us, but they sure as hell ain't living that way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, um, we'll we'll see. You know, is she going to continue this sort of thing? You know, if if it takes weeks, if it takes months, is she going to continue to be a strong leader? Can she perhaps rewin the respect of some of the rank and file of the the union? Which remember, like, they're some of the most famous people in the world are part of this union, but. Tens of thousands of people who are working actors you might never have heard of are also there in far worse economic situations and I think rightly have been really critical of her. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.